Now, since the LDAP synchronization program, that is RS LDAP sync underscore user, uh, will be run in the background uh, as a background job, uh, how, do you, how do you know, or how do you check uh, which user IDs have been created uh, in the SAP system when that program is run? The SAP provides a, a transaction code for checking the uh, synchronization log. Uh, so the transaction code is LDAP log. So when you execute this transaction code, LDAP log, uh, you'll get to the LDAP synchronization uh, screen. You can specify the date and time for which you want to check the logs. And uh, you want to check for who triggered the log, you can enter the specify the user ID and the rest of the information here. Um, you will basically provide the dates and the time and click on execute. Now because you, the program could run uh, for every couple of hours or five hours or six hours or whatever frequency you want, uh, you might want to put a proper selection criteria there. Now this log depend, will display all the runs uh, for that specified period of time. If you see here, we ran created that user ID twice. The first time when we created it, we didn't have that uh, uh, department ID field. So we deleted the user ID and just ran it the second time. Uh, when we, after we mapped the department field and the employee ID field to the account number field. Now, if there is any error, if the program was not executed properly, uh, or the program on the RSL tap sync underscore user program uh, ended it and ended in an error, you will see the problem, uh, the, the traffic light there. In this case, the problem happened because, uh, uh, for, for example, because the LDAP connector was not available. So, that's why it isn't red. That was the first run. The second run was successful because we, the ID got created. But in that case, in the first run, the department field was not populated, so we deleted it. And then we ran it again and we created it again. So this law will display the number of, uh, you'll have as many entries as you have run the program. So if you ran the program 10 times, you will have 10, 10, 10 entries here in the screen. So, so this log will display all the user IDs uh, that were created during that particular run. So you have the date and you have the time and the user ID that ran the uh, synchronization program and the LDAP connector that was used. Now you could have uh, multiple LDAP systems so you could have multiple LDAP connectors. So this will tell you from which connector, which connector was used to create the user IDs. So SAP provides this transaction code LDAP log to check the logs of the uh, sync, uh, RS LDAP sync underscore user uh, program. 